Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to read the story, Plants We Eat and How They Grow. It is by Carrie Cornell. So that means the title is Plants We Eat and How They Grow, and Carrie is the one who wrote the book and also took the pictures or drew the pictures. In this story, we're gonna learn all about the different parts of a vegetable, fruit, and the plants, the parts that we eat and the plants that we discard, or we can use them for what? Compost, you're right. Plants we eat and how they grow. Think about what you ate for dinner last night. Did you have any plants? We eat many different parts of plants. We eat the roots, stems, leaves, flowers, seeds, and fruits of some plants. What part of plant did you eat? Roots. We eat roots, carrots, sprouts from seed planted in moist soil. Above ground, we see tiny green leaves, but we eat the roots of the carrot that grow underneath. We wash away the dirt, peel and slice the carrots, and eat them. Sometimes we cook them. Beets are another plant we eat. We can eat the beet leaves that grow above the soil and we can eat the roots that grow underground. When beets are ready to pick, their red root tops push above the surface of the soil. We clean the leaves and roots of the beet plants. We eat the leaves in salads. We boil beet roots or bake them in the oven before we eat them. Stems. We also eat the stems of plants. Asparagus plants have sturdy green stems. The plants need lots of water. When the stems are tall and thick, we cut them from the plant. Asparagus can be grilled or cooked on the stove. It's delicious cut up with scrambled eggs or eaten with butter or garlic dipping sauce. Have you ever had asparagus? Leaves. We eat the leaves of many plants. Spinach grows quickly in moist soil. What does moist mean again, friends? Yes, damp or wet, just like we want our earthworms skin to stay nice and moist in the soil. You're right. When the leaves are the size of your hand, cut them off at the bottom of the plant. Spinach leaves can be eaten raw, dipped in dressing, or cooked in oil with salt and pepper for a tasty treat. I didn't like spinach when I was your age, but I sure love spinach now. Do you eat spinach? Flowers. We eat the root stem and leaves of plants. But did you know that we sometimes eat the flowers too? Broccoli is a flower that we eat. I never knew that. It grows from seeds and has thick stems, but the flowers are what people love to eat. I knew it was called block, broccoli florets, but I never thought that it was actually a flower. Broccoli flowers look like tiny trees. Some people eat them dipped in ranch dressing. Broccoli flowers are also tasty when cooked with water and sprinkled with salt and pepper. Seeds. We even eat the seeds of some plants. Sunflowers grown on tall, strong stems in gardens and farm fields. The center of a sunflower is sometimes as big as a dinner plate. Birds love to peck out the seeds in the center of sunflower bloom. People like them too. We dry the seeds in an oven and sprinkle them with a little salt. Then we remove the tough outer husk before eating the tender seeds inside. Sweet corn is actually a seed too. The corn plant is a type of grass, and the corn kernels are the seeds. Sometimes we cook the corn, dip it in butter, and bite the kernels right off the cob. Other times, the corn kernels have been cut off the cob, cooked in water, and flavored with salt and pepper. Popcorn is made from the dried corn kernels that are heated until they pop open to fluffy and white. Fruit. Of course you know that we eat the fruit of plants. We eat so many fruits. Think of apples, strawberries, and tomatoes. That's right, tomatoes are fruit. 
There are many fruits we eat that we call vegetables because of how we typically eat them with things that aren't sweet, like meat or in a dish such as pizza. Fruits are the parts of plants that hold the seeds. Without fruits, new apple trees, tomato plants, and strawberry plants could not grow. To grow a new tomato plant, a tomato seed is taken from the fruit, dried, then planted in soil. Seeds can be planted in the ground or in soil in a pot or even a bag. To grow into a healthy plant, tomatoes, like all plants, need sunlight, water, and air. After the seed is planted, the sun warms the seed and the water softens it. Both of these are needed to help the seed sprout. The sprouted seed becomes a tomato plant, and after many weeks of flower bud and blooms, the flower is where the tomato fruit will grow. Tomatoes come in a huge range of flowers, including green, orange, purple, and red. Some full-grown tomatoes are small, like a cherry or grape, perfect for one or two bites. Other tomatoes start out small and grow to be larger than your fist. This is a fist, so the tomato will be bigger than the fist. The next time you eat a tomato or a cucumber or anything with seeds, remember, it's the fruit of a plant. In most fruits, the seeds grow inside, but strawberries have their seeds on the outside. Look closely. Can you see them? Strawberries are easy to eat. Simply wash them, remove the stem, and take a bite. Strawberries also takes good sliced over yogurt or mashed up and used to make ice cream. Think of your favorite food that comes from a plant. Is it a root, stem, leaf, flower, seed, or fruit? How do you know? And they give us, they give us a glossary of different fruits and plants that we eat. They've got apples, artichoke, asparagus, avocado, beans, beets, broccoli, cabbage, carrot, cauliflower, celery, corn, cucumber, eggplant, green onions, green pepper, leek, lettuce, parsnip, peaches, pears, potatoes, pumpkin, radish, rehabarb, Swiss chard, sunflower, tomatoes, turnips. And they show us a picture of a friend eating a corn on the cob. Now, I want you to think about all those different plant names they gave us. Root, leaves, stem, flowers, seeds. There were so many different kinds. I want you to think of what kind of plants you have ate and what were their parts name. And we're going to talk about it more on Class Dojo, friends. Again, we just read the story, Plants We Eat and How They Grow. And it is by... Carrie Cornell, that means Carrie wrote the words, and Carrie also took the pictures or drew the pictures because it just says one name. If it had two names, then maybe we had a different illustrator than the author. But today, Carrie is our author writing the words and the photographer because these look like real pictures, don't they, friends? They don't look like someone drew them. They look like someone used a camera and photograph the images. How cool is that? All right, friends, until next time, I wish you well. Goodbye.